Queen gonna make her way over to the multi inferno. Question is, can he get her to take the turn in the town hall? I feel like he kind of would be looking to go to the town hall there if the king is. What's the king doing? Oh, king! How did you miss that, king? What the heck? Oh, come on! No! It's worse! It's worse! It's worse! It's worse! Two teams have qualified to the playoffs of the Clash Master Swiss stages with $50,000 on the line and a golden ticket to the Clash of Clans World Championship. The teams continue to fight it out. Our match today is Navi taking on Chazmag EA. They are both currently two and one. If you get three wins before you take three losses, you advance to the playoffs and that's where the money starts. This is one of the most important matches that they will face here because if you win this one, you're in. Yada, kicking us off here with a Super Bowler Smash. Looks like he got a little bit of fun on the very bottom of the base there. What was that, a Yeti? Yeti dropped in there. He's got the Warden going after the defensive king. And Klinger will continue on to that area here. And the Warden, I assume, will split off and go south and he can put a whole bunch of Super Bowlers right through this opening and then shoot across the base towards the town hall. A long approach here, but Super Polars, they handle that long approach there very, very well. They handle it better than almost any other troop in the game there, but you just gotta make sure that you position your jumps to make sure that they can get their access to the town hall and don't get diverted off to the side. So, yeah, he handles it. Got three Super Wall Breakers. There is a wall break that he can get through to the Battle Builder and the Rage Tower here. Flame here, keep on moving. Everybody else starts their path forward. Here we go. Ice Cool just lead the charge in the base here. Nice freeze. Getting some bounces. Can delay the ward ability. Doesn't have to use his own freezes there initially when he has a wave of Ice Golems out in front there. Always a very smart thing to do. There goes the second Ice Golem and he's looking pretty solid. There's the jump spell. The jump spell is actually going to cause him to go north for the moment and then loop back over to the town hall. Everybody's going north though. Everybody's following exactly the path that he was thinking. He's getting bounces to the outside of the base there. It'd be a fantastic time to toss the world champion over to the right side of the base there or maybe just delay and let that, let that flame flinger do a little bit more work. But he does need to make his way back to the town hall. The king is going right there. He's got bowler bounces going that direction as well. He's getting everybody going back over to the town hall. They wiped out the core of the base there. Holy efficiency. Guys, that was... That was... Does he even need his Roar Champion? <laughs> I don't... I mean, barely. Barely, maybe just for time. He's got extra spells here. Guys, that was so perfect. How did he get so many troops to stay perfectly together like that? That was a good call. Yada is a bowler expert. And so much so that his uh, Twitch channel, when he streams on Twitch, is named Yada Bowler. And last month, he was the highest hit rate player in the world. He was pushing nearly 90% hit rate with the Super Bowlers. And he's he's able to get it done today against Navi. So GG, well done. Let's take a look at the other matches that are going on at the same time as this one. We also have Clash Champs versus Inquisition. It looks like it has a triple on the board. Also MS Esports and United Gaming GS are in the same situation as these teams are right now. Return to fire here for Navi will be Gaku. Navi's open attack here. A couple black air bombs going off on the left side of the queen. What is that, a blimp path there that he's trying to guard against? It would drop a blimp onto the eagle artillery. That does make sense. There's a lot of, like, yeti value to drop a yeti bomb onto there, but he does need to get the queen to go inside of the base there. He's got the path thing set, so the queen will definitely go in. He goes to the expo first. The healers are safe, though, so he's fine. For Expo's pick up there, and that one's under rage, so a lot of incoming damage here, but he is sustaining with the freeze. Get that multi down and recall out of there. Love to see the recall. Always interesting to see what these pro players can do with the recall spell. I'm curious how many of you guys out there are using recall because I honestly, I love it. I love it. I think it's a, such an incredible spell, but I feel like when I go into other clans and I watch what most people do it. I very rarely see it. So what are you guys' experience with it? Dragons make their way across into the top of the base. They're joining with the queen. The queen's gonna get forced around. I think she goes into the into the the scatter shock apartment there. The flip is able to cross through the base there. Drops out super minion. Super minion bomb with invisibility and the rage. Look like he invested a clone of that, but he's able to destroy the CC and take the town hall down and keep the dragons safe from the targets directly in front of them. Bane's still safe on that side of the base there. The 
biggest threats of the base here are Warden, King, and we're a champion. Always the defensive heroes. Always have to have a good plan for these defensive heroes. But the Queen seems to have the Warden area under control. But this area is more critical. He's getting the defensive world champion engaged. He's able to take it down with his king rather than with his world champion. Have them work together and have the king engage the world champion so your world champion doesn't have to fight her out there because she's terrible at fighting off the other defensive heroes. So, like, he's got a RC ability and a queen ability still intact. The queen ability should be able to get him past the defensive king. Shouldn't be a problem. He's got a lot of troops still moving. He's still got the warden moving. He's got the king with his ability intact. The king gets there first. The king deals with it. And the RC ability is swag. And so is that extra invisibility. Kaku! Get it done just as easily as Yana did. We have two triples out of the gate. Looks like Einstein with a 76% two star for Inquisition, giving class champs up. Opportunity to pull ahead and Morio over a United Gaming GS. I think a lot of people were wondering where Morio went. There he is. He's right there, guys. And also, I want to point out that the power rankings have Navi and Chasmac EA currently about equal for this war right here. So I think we got a very even matchup. Obviously, Navi has a golden ticket to Clash of Clans World Championship already and are a fan favorite, but I think everybody is always impressed to see what Chasmac EA can do. And I want to remind everybody that. When they go into these tournaments, it is completely open signups. They play from the same starting position that you would if you signed up for these tournaments. No matter who you are, these guys always start from scratch every tournament. And we have usually the same set of teams emerge out of the hundreds that play and reach these positions over and over and over. And imagine if you were like, you're playing in like professional like a uh, soccer football or whatever and every single season every single different league you had to start over and, and face the high school teams all over again you know <laughs> that's, that's what it feels like sometimes you know it's crazy and you, then you have to work your way all the way up and then eventually meet the pros like that's kind of what these guys have to do on a normal everyday tournament progress which is crazy it's crazy when you think about it you know but Xiaowa able to take out a big chunk of the base there with that super minion bomb. And now push in the heroes. It's going to wrap all the way around here. The question is, whenever we see these these large blimps, when we go after the basically the, the whole core like that, do we get enough value to make so the heroes can clear out the rest of the base there with just these super barbarians and no spells? Because he doesn't leave himself... And he spells here to work with, but you know what? He got the defensive world champion on the drop there, so she's out of the way there. He got the defensive queen already taken down. The king was able to take her down. And now, if he can get past the defensive king, not lose too much here, and keep his hero safe, then he's in a good spot. However, he did already lose his world champion. So he's not in the best spot right now, I feel like. And the queen is not doing many favors by... Going through the middle base there and attacking walls. But she gets back in action. The king goes to Phoenix. He's got baby dragons working on the back side. You're gonna go pick up the cannon over here. Like that. He's got seven more super barbarians. He can start to craft his in on the far left side. And he does. Throwing down one or two on every single individual defense. Super wizard, or excuse me. Party wizard. Yeah, party. And uh, we'll give the queen the protection that she needs, but is it enough? Because he's gotta go all the way through the scatter shot and the multi inferno. So it would have been nice if you got a little more value out of the Super Union Bomb, but maybe it's enough. Maybe it's enough. The Queen, I mean, it would be better if she had the Unicorn here, but she does step all the way in. She doesn't have any Diggy. She doesn't have any additional pets or passed off from the other heroes there. If she had more pets there, I think he would be okay here, but oh, he's, he's actually getting this down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, he's out of time. <laughs> he's going to end up with a 99%, isn't he? Or 90, 98. Sorry, the drill is up as well. 98%, a very solid attempt. But an attempt is all it is. It is a miss, and it's an opportunity now for Navi to take the lead. For Nal, to be sending the next attack here for Navi. Pressure on now. Flame Flinger down south. Only a 99% or a triple will get Navi the lead here. So, see what he can do. King diving to the left side of the base there. The queen cuts off his pathing as she fights off with the world champion, like that. Queen gonna make her way over to the multi inferno. Question is, can he get her to take the turn in the town hall? I feel like he kind of would be looking to go to the town hall there if the king is. What's the king doing? Oh, king! How did you miss that king? What the heck? Oh, come on! 
Uh oh, come on, King. All right, Bernal. No, it's worse. It's worse. It's worse. It's worse. Come on, what does he do? Freeze it. Okay, he lost a lot of damage to the healers. Lost a lot of HP. King died out down south there. Never even got the model down, even though we went right towards it. The multi inferno target of the Queen's Hill is. Oh, for no! This is a disaster! Come on, pull it together, pull it together. And the shot still is up. He's putting in more super hogs to go in after it. And the queen has lost all of her healers. Oh, Bernal. And the queen goes down herself. And the eagle artillery ends up targeting his CC troops as well. So he's, he's going to miss the multi down there. Oh, ri oh, rip the dream. Oh, my gosh. He's got to find a way to... Recover this up and get some percentage of the board. Guys, this is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. But he has the skeleton spell that he puts on the town hall. The skeletons attack the town hall and that gets it activated and he can ride the rage out of there and hopefully not take too much damage to the poison and maybe get something out of this. He's got a couple of extra troops that he can throw in for some perimeter cleanup here. But I feel like he needs to get the right hand corner cleared up here so we can get some of the trash out of the way. Got a couple balloons. The balloons get that uh, archer tower down would be the question over there. That'd be some good percentage, but he does go after the scan shot. Finally, finally, finally gets a couple of hogs in to go take it down. He throws in whatever he has in the right hand corner there. He's not able to get the archer tower down. He does get the cannon out of the way, though, and he's able to clear up some percentage in that corner. It's very, very big miss here, guys. Bernal had everything under the sun go wrong in that attack. Like, it shouldn't have gone that bad, but the king, the king. The king threw so hard by just skipping that scatter shot and walking out of the compartment. And that is why we run open quarters on these bases. <laughs> oh man, 67. And Chazmak EA has the lead. Now the question is, can they sustain this new lead? Going against Bernal on defense, Kuma. Send it in a zap into kill squad Lala. Very, very early in the war still. Plenty of opportunity for Navi to make the comeback here, but since Chaz Mackie goes first each attack, they get to set the bar. And so far, they're putting the bar high enough. Bog Launcher deploys into the multi inferno but the Baby Dragon seems to have it mostly under control there. They'll, they'll work on it together there, and that Baby Dragon will survive. Okay, maybe it can catch a Black Air Bob. Maybe it can just get shot down by the defensive ward. That's not ideal, <laughs> but he will have the log launcher go after the eagle artillery while at the same time kind of settling the funnel for the king and the queen, but the king and the queen just going to be following that golem into the base there. The world champion off the left side of the base there with a giant actually out there providing person protection and ground skillies, but he's just going to collapse in and wrap through the area that was already taken out by the lightning for the most part, but the Yetis take the lead there. The Yetis pop out of the Log Launcher and will get some damage onto the defensive queen. Take out the defensive warden there with the Yeti. My said the queen had only one scatter shot, but the defensive queen ends up stopping at those Yetis and defends the scatter shot, but the queen still has her ability. She's headed that direction right now as he pushes the Lalo through the town hall. And that's why I love the uh, Sui Lalo attacks there in general, because you just kind of set the heroes and as soon as you get them done it's not like a queen charge where you're trying to continue to manage what the queen is doing the whole time you just kind of set it and forget it and they definitely it, de it definitely takes out a lot of the complexity off of the backside of the attack there so you can just focus on the lalo and make sure that the lalo is working and this lalo is definitely working kuma gets it done it's another triple for chasmac ea and now if the pressure wasn't already on for navi to get a triple it just ramped up like crazy because if they miss this here, then they're going to be falling behind on stars and you're already down pretty heavily on percentage and you're going to have to find a way to make up for that. And I don't know, at 60, was it 67%? That's tough to make up for, especially when you're facing a team like Chaz Mackie. Score updates. Class Champs ends up with a miss, but so does Inquisition. But Class Champs has, it looks like a four building advantage. We also see a triple out of Synthe and Nairomi. So we see a lead for United Gaming GS in that other word here. But let's dive into Kazuma. And let's see what we can do here for Navi. As we go in with... Uh, <laughs> what is this army? Um, 
All right, it's a sneaky goblin army. A sneaky goblin and, uh, and a super barbarian army. He's got a recall. <laughs> what is it? What is this army? Uh, excuse me, that's a lot of sneaky goblins. That's a lot of sneaky goblins. What's the play here, though? Is he just going to solo the base of the heroes and just use all these sneaky goblins for cleanup? <laughs> well, he just pushes the queen into the corner there and then recalls out, redeploys instantly on the side of the base there. Catches a black air bomb on the path that the blimps would take. So always searching for black air bombs right in that area. Right where the most probable blimp pass would take you through opposite the town hall. Good spot. Gotta be mindful of them when you do the queen charges. The queen's not taking eagle artillery strike there. He recognizes that and will rage her early to get her MHP recovered. And she... Oh, she goes to ability anyways. All right, well, that's not an ideal. It's not ideal. She'll move forward there. The ward ability protects the king while the king is under ability and the king and his barbarians. This king is cooperating. This king steps all the way in and takes down the monolith and will fight off the majority of the CC. But the king stole the healers and the queen was abandoned. And that means that the defensive world champion is able to take her down. Guys, this is a very, very rough day for Navi. What is happening here? Can he get the town hall down? I don't know if he can. I'm not even sure. He's got good path to come from the very bottom of the base there. He's got some troops still moving. The world champion's already deployed though. He's got two freezes and an invisibility, but he needs to have enough force to actually secure the town takedown. The warden right there hogging the healers. As a couple of buildings go invisible there as he drops in sneaky goblins to go to the town hall. More invisibility. Trying it again. He's got to get the town hall down. Freeze the town hall. Oh, man. What is happening? These bases from Chazmack EA. They came prepared. These are tough. These are tough. And that queen, that queen just wouldn't cooperate. I mean, now, now Navi has had a king throw an attack here, and now a queen throws the attack. Or would you say the healers threw the attack there? Because the healers abandoned the queen after he got that, he got that area under control. Like it wasn't looking bad, but he's got 27 seconds here. He's gonna get some decent percentage here. It's at least a percentage amount here that they can work with. But I, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous right now. I'm a little bit nervous. I know that Navi can make a comeback. I know that we still have. Klaus and Stars to follow this up here. So if they can get a defense in this next one, then I have faith. But let's see if Chazmack EA can deny them that opportunity. 92%. It looks like Inquisition able to land a triple and then Stadra over in United Gaming GS ends up with a miss 90%. Gives an opportunity for MS Esports to tie up the score in that war. But let's see what happens with Heroia. Going in with a Skelly Bat Donut. Going after the Multi, the Eagle, and the CC. I wouldn't think that would fit there, but... Oh, oh. Oh, okay, the Quake finishes out there. That's what I was about to say. He made the Inferno invisible for a second, but the Quake was paired with it. And he also picked up an extra Tesla as well. Bonus, bonus defense is right there. We'll take that. Or they'll take that. Now, Navi's not happy about that, I'm sure. <laughs> but the uh, successful Skelly Donut gonna set up the heroes here. King's gonna dive in, and the defensive queen gonna pull the king into the base there. And then he can pop his ability, get the defensive queen down, and take the scatter shot down, which just about breaks the ring of defenses there. You wanna always connect the hole that was created by the Skelly Donut, which is why it's called a Skelly Donut with the heroes on the outside of the base so that we can control the pathing for the Lalo. Okay, where are we going? Queen's going out, okay. She's got her ability still. You can have her pick up an air defense out there and the expo. And I don't think she'll make it all the way to the multi inferno but he could put the world champion up there if he wants to and have her support. And he gets a golem out in front of her and she's got the unicorn. May maybe there's a chance that this queen could go all the way over there and pick up the multi inferno with her ability. That'd be huge right there if she gets it. But at the same time, Lala pushing to the red bottom. The queen locks on the multi now. And looks like she's got, she's got it. Wow. Okay. Well, impressive, impressive hero value right there. But he does push his way towards the town hall. Rage Tower is active. Freezes. Radio trap. Rage. Okay. There's the word ability. It is not able to catch the slammer. The slammer's not taking any damage. So he's fine. Balloons pop out of the slammer, anyways. And the dragon rider. Got a shot, has the air defense there to control the, the the distraction for the scatter shot there. Just able to 
Kicker down right next to it. Needs to get the defense of our champion down, though. Gordon still working strong there with Drag Runner and the Balloons there. Taking some traps, though. The Roar Champion. Oh, okay, this is kind of critical right here. Roar Champion engages the defense of Roar Champion. He doesn't have any Headhunters, though. And he does go to Ability and the defense of Roar Champion. Almost able to take that Queen out or Roar Champion out. But the Expo will finish her off. Oh, no, wait. The Warden and the... Okay. Warden just saved the Roar Champion. All right. The Expo goes down. And that might mean that she goes the distance. 30 seconds here to wrap it up here. The World Champion stalled up here. The balloons are going to pick off here. The World Champion very low HP. But the Warden's right there. If the Warden goes... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Warden locks onto it. There we go. He's got it. Wow. Okay. The Warden gets his targeting directed. And he's able to finish off there even after the World Champion goes down. And Roya gets it done for Chazbeck. Yay. Guys, they're in a very good spot. They have Navi on the ropes. Who would have called going into this match that MS Esports, Class Champs, and Na'Vi would all be trailing going into the end of the war? That's pretty unexpected. That's pretty wild. But let's see if Stars and Klaus can carry. Maybe they can pick up a big defense. And maybe they can still make the comeback. Not going to be easy. Not with that new triple on the board there from... Chaz Mackier, but stars dive it in with a queen charge into Lala. Flame Flinger deploys with the queen after the lightning takes out all the intern abilities here. Queen's gonna go after that defensive world champion, but she has a path to leave the base here in a moment, so which way she goes. I assume because of his Flame Flinger placement that he's trying to get the queen to go off to the right here, but I don't know that she will. I don't know that she will. Again, a couple of buttons cleared with the fire from the Flame Flinger. And the queen has that direction. Sends in a Coco Loon. Gil is getting targeted. Definitely was not intending for the queen to go this direction, but she still might take the turn and go north. Okay, he, he's he's potentially okay. He's potentially okay. But this multi, keep an eye on it. We'll keep it selected here because if her healers get targeted, he's gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. Queen gets a CC pull. Looks like a couple of headhunters and Lava Hound. Didn't have too much of a problem dealing with that. Flame Flinger. Gonna get targeted by the Mortar. No, oh, he's got the Distraction Archers over there, so he's able to keep that damage off of his Flame Flinger. And he's able to now move forward. Does the Flame Flinger go to the Multi, though, is the question, because the Multi, while the uh, while the Scattershot would be... Oh, ooh, a giant bomb. Ooh. Okay, well... And that was painful. That was painful. That may stop him from getting the multi throw down. And that may mean that the healers end up getting threatened. But the queen is starting to swing wide. I think she stays away. She's getting away from it. Okay, she's safe. She's safe. Flame Finger Lock's on. And what's inside? What's inside? It is going to be Yetis and a Rocket Balloon. Rocket Balloon surges forward there. And the Balloon and the Rocket Balloon trying to get the... Oh, we got it on the crash damage. The multi goes down. The Yetis take out the scatter shot. Hold up, Stars. Got this under control. Nice, nice recovery so far. King, out of the right side of the base there, goes ahead and deploys with the World Champion to go to the multi for the Queen. Is gonna take the Town Hall down, looking good here. He's gonna, he's kinda low on time though. Kinda low, low on time, he's gotta move quickly. Still has to deal with the defensive Queen on the back side of the base though. Getting this guy to shot down. The Hound is crossing through, soaking up a bunch of red air bombs on his path through and able to burst and give some protection to the backside. He's got 30 seconds to cross through though. He's gotta move fast and he's gotta get the cleanup done extremely efficiently into the backside of the base there. But unfortunately he just lost his world champion and that is gonna slow him down a bit, a lot. He throws in the last of the bullets to the backside of the base there. Uses the freeze on the defensive queen. He's got one more freeze. He freezes it one more time. Here comes the headhunters diving in, taking spring traps, but they died with giant bomb. I, th I thought he might be able to pull it back here. I thought he might be able to pull it back, but the defensive queen is going to pick off all the balloons now, and it is going to be a defense. I think it was a time fail either way. Inquisition are heading to the playoffs. They're the next confirmed team. They get the win. Class Champs goes down, and with a big miss out of Ryuta, MS Esports has a chance to make the comeback in their war, but let's dive in here. Hades is in. A bit of lightning takes out the Expo. And I guess the Rage Tower and the uh, Eagle. The Eagle? Yeah, the Eagle's gone. All right, it's the Eagle. All right. 
lot of uh, lightning invested there. That takes seven lightning and a quake to get the Eagle Artillery down. Very, very heavy investment. But we'll see what he can do. He pushes in the Flame Flinger from the left side of the base here. Gonna set one side of the funnel for these Super Dragons. And they could just play a safe here. There's no reason to take any risk here. Just send Super Dragons right through the Town Hall. <laughs> You got the you got the win locked in here as long as you get a two star, so there's no reason to risk it at all. Just get the eagle artillery out of the way very early in the attack there to make sure that it's not firing down on you, not causing too much damage to super dragons. Get the funnel clean on both sides, and just shoot the super dragons right through the town hall and seal the deal and send Navi down to the two and two bracket. This wouldn't be the end of the road for any of these teams because all these teams are currently two and one. You have to take three wins before you take three losses. And that's how you get through the playoffs. So this wave of teams is to send in our next three. So we have Rapata Gaming and Strutta already made it through. So at the moment, it's looking like Inquisition. This locks in Chaz Mac EA. And now we just need to find out who it is between MS Esports and United Gaming GS. But this one is not just not, not just a safe two star. The Super Dragons have gone all the way through this base here. He's still got an RC with their ability. He's got the Queen with her ability. He's got the Lava Hound engaged down with safety. The King's still providing taking. There's still Super Dragons floating around. This is not just a safe two star. This is crushed. Hades gets it done. And that's going to put his team up to 14 stars and a 98%. Guys, they are two buildings off of a perfect war against Na'Vi. Definitely earning their position for the playoffs today. Brilliant performance. Very strong attacks. Very good defenses. Laos is in for the final attack of the war. Let's see what he's got here. And then we'll go and find out who is the other team that's going to the playoffs. And who is the other team... That is gonna hand, uh, go down to that two and two bracket. Miles diving in with a King and Warden and Log Launcher kill squad. Using the King with the Warden it is always a very high value because the King's part very is able to take advantage of that Warden ability and get tons and tons of damage output there with the King. And then uh, how the Yetis join in there, and unfortunately his uh, Warden just got targeted by the Monolith. Very unfortunate, but Yetis, where are they going to go? Uh, throwing Yeti Mites north there, but the Yeti Mites are just kind of spreading all over to lots of different defenses. Not doing anything in specific, but they do take the Monolith down. So while they missed some of the other potential targets, they got the most important one. The one that is going to keep the Queen safe as she goes around the bottom of the base here and heads towards the Town Hall. Small Lava follows up a little bit later. Is a jump spell and the queen if she is able to go to the town hall compartment which we she, she should be able to with the jump just make sure to not direct her give her an option to leave the base there if she leaves the base and goes around to the right then he is gonna end up with a very very poor attack here but he does need to rage we slowly get him overwhelmed by the defenses and he'll continue his approach towards the town hall a couple of super barbarians on the outside of the base there, just providing funnel. Coco Loon's out there. Nice jump, only giving access for the queen to move forward. Not granting any access to leave the base there. This cannon is kind of in a troublesome spot though. I'll step over and take it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna step in and she will stay moving forward. Here comes the Lala from the top of the base there. Haste as he did have he did have to get uh a little bit of cover there to get past the Royal Champion, but he was able to get her down there, get the scatter shot dealt without any problem. Eight more blues on standby. He's using just enough blues there to give the Royal Champion some support there and letting him die. But he does freeze. He probably could have froze the battle builder right there as well, but the Royal Champion has another control. The Royal Champion will step in and get the stuns. Pops her ability. This is crushed. This is crushed. He'll throw in his last eight balloons. Two for every one of the last four defenses, and he's got it under control. So, oh man. Klaus gets it done today. That was a very, very nice attack, guys. It was a very good attack. And it's very interesting to see the King use with the Warden and the Lalo just going in by itself there. But it worked. It worked like a charm. But unfortunately, it is way too little, way too late there. And Chasmac EA just didn't give them any kind of a chance today. 
but it does look like United Gaming GS was able to get a triple on their last attack, and that means that we have our three teams. Jazzmac EA, Inquisition, United Gaming GS, and Rapata Gaming and Strut are now all qualified, and there are only three spots left for the playoffs.